actually get bales of hay and straw from our local horse supplier. It costs about £5 a bale on average I think so it is fairly cheap and you get a lot of it. The quality is fairly good. Overall I think it's much better than getting it from a pet shop in terms of quality and expense. I've also started drying some plants for the colder season and dried forage is a really great thing to have. Now they can't have it in as large quantities as they can in summer because when you dry them it kind of takes out some of the nutrients and the problem is too much dry food can promote bladder and kidney problems because they're not getting as much fluid and it can promote it because of the calcium content. Now the calcium content isn't a problem during the warm season because obviously it's got a high water content which flushes out the excess calcium so it can be given in smaller amounts but it's still a really great supplement. All I'm going to be doing is just basically cutting up the bits that I want and then dehydrating it. The roots of some plants are also a really great winter feed. So now I've finished cutting up some of the plants, you can obviously use a much wider variety. I actually have dried some already, but this is just an example of some things which I will be drying. Now there are a few options, you can either dehydrate them in a dehydrator obviously, you can put them in the oven on a really low heat, or you can let them dry in the sun. In terms of doing it quickly and also keeping the nutrients in it, I prefer using a dehydrator. For things like the roots, I think I will be putting these in the oven just because I think they would be in there for days in a dehydrator. So we're going to oven dry these and then just put these in the dehydrator. So here is my dehydrator. I believe we got this from Amazon. So yeah, they are quite easy to get hold of. And what I'm going to be doing is basically just spreading out the plants across each of these different platform type things. Is that even a thing? I don't know. And the more evenly spread out, the quicker it'll dry. Also, the less you have on one sort of platform, the quicker it will dry. So I'll just keep stacking them up. So I've got this all set up and ready to go. So I suggest putting it on a lower heat just because I believe this will keep more of the nutrients in the plants so it will have a higher nutritional value. So the next sort of mini project type thing is sorting out this supply shed. I did have it really tidy just a few weeks ago but then we got loads of bales and everything and then I just couldn't keep it tidy as I am so unorganised found it's never tidy. So what we're doing now is, I know this might be like a bit of a surprise to you all but um, those of you who watch my second channel will know that we have recently built some hutches for the guinea pigs to stay in overnight during the autumn and winter. somewhere to keep warm and cosy. Think of it as like a 
an area for them to sleep in really and that's where they'll go overnight, keep warm, then the rest of the time it'll be as normal, they will go back into the playhouse and have all the space they've always had, it's just overnight to keep them warm and safe really. So we came to the decision that this would be the best place to keep the hutches just because it's closer to the house, it's easier to access, we've got a light up here which we do not have in the playhouse because there's no electricity so all in all this we thought would be better and it's just a lot more accessible especially during the colder season so we're going to get on and tidy this up now and then I will show you all once it's complete As you can see the shed is so much tidy now and it's been like how many hours pretty much all day we have spent tidying this shed but as you can see it's a lot more organized we've got the hutches here and here so the hutches are pretty much like just half perspex and then half this wooden door they've got these locks here they're all lined out and they've got their water bottle hay rack and everything they need so in winter we are going to be having like two to three guinea pigs in each hutch because we do have nine and we have four hutches so not quite right for two in each hutch so I have you know I've tried it out and the guinea pigs are so content and happy being in pairs and trios so it's all seems to be going really well now we couldn't really have all nine guinea pigs in a hutch because they have a lot of arguments this way and they just do not get along like that so in terms of keeping them happy and safe and warm then this is the solution we came up with and obviously we can sort of try it out, see who gets on with who and then see which pairs and trios work out the best and yeah, that is the plan. can be unhealthy if your guinea pigs and rabbits are housed indoors and you are giving them an unnecessary amount. This could lead to them becoming overweight and in general it's just not necessary. As a small amount it can be fed as a supplement but only very occasionally when they're indoors. However a seed mixture is useful for outdoor guinea pigs and rabbits and I use this as an alternative to pellets it's a great way to supply them with energy. It's not processed in any way, so it's a very natural source of food. Again, it should make up a really small part of their diet, even when fed throughout the cold season. It's really just for a supplement, and in the autumn and winter, they do have a higher demand for energy, as they are using up more energy to keep warm. So, it is a healthy addition to their diet if fed correctly. I do have the recipe to the seed mixture I made, and that will be linked down below but I do suggest you do a lot of research before you consider doing this and I just want to make this clear I do not really recommend a seed mixture if you're already feeding pellets because pellets will probably be supplying the energy they need anyway I guess she doesn't want to eat it then. Are you not hungry? You're a bit freaked out. <laughs> I feel like I have to bend down. So we've got the hutches here and here, and your exits are here and here. Lost my train of thought now. Anyway.